it's another quick video for my uh, fellow styrene addicts out there um, these are a couple of models that I did way back before I started to get back in it back into building models recently uh, these were done about 10 years ago and uh, there's a few of the survivors that I have left put together is this 53 Ford flip nose These, for those of you guys that don't know, this is actually from the movies, the Simpsons movie. Um, let's see, they were breath mints. Oops. Oh, lost one. But, uh, uh, I just use these for little props. It's my little party truck, as I called it. the motor and the exhaust I did run to where it does connect and move to the back in here probably was about to fall off it's the only thing I didn't like about this front axle that I chose it uses some steel rods, axles not a big fan of those as you can see they tend to fall apart better off just gluing the rims to whatever you got another one is the 66 Buick Rivera both of these models are AMT models As you can see, they're pretty old. I, well, I don't know if you guys can see it, but they're it's dust, pretty dusty. White walls. Stock motor. Both of these models were done pretty much box stock. The only difference is with the Ford, I just cut the bed off. Well, the walls of the bed anyways. Oh, there you go. Eight years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Eight years ago. This is May of 05 that I built this model here. A few other ones that I did that are not together right now. They're in boxes and pieces. Is uh, it's right here. 55 Camille. This was a good model to put together. I like this one. 78 Firebird 3-in-1. I did this the uh, drag car style. Fiber Bell. And the 69 Shelby Mustang 2-in-1. This, I do not have the body anymore, but I still have the 450, or 427 uh, fuel-injected motor. I still have the motor and... Uh, the rims and the tires, the interior piece. Um, that was one bad model. That was awesome. I loved it. And uh, they had unfortunate endings. But uh, that was another great model I loved. And this one right here, too. So I have all the pieces right here in the box. things in there this was one of those uh naked builds no paint no nothing but now that uh I'm more experienced actually I want to try my hand on uh, some bare metal foil with this car it's probably one of the first cars I'll do the bare metal foil on well guys that was just a quick video to show you uh some of the survivors I've had together anyways these ones here these two and uh 
I will be rebuilding the other ones as, as I progress on those I will let you guys uh, know and give you an update and uh, my next video I will be posting actually is a quick update on my shop truck uh, got a couple of ideas that I pondered together and uh, I want to share with you guys well anyways um, leave comments let me know what you guys think and uh, show some of the survivors you guys built maybe 10 years back or something that would be kind of cool I think uh, I'm sure there'd be a lot of response on that and uh, as I've noticed is my building is a lot better now than it was then um, I'm willing to step outside the box stock idea as these two models are um, started cutting stuff up kit bashing all that cool stuff that's going on you know um, well anyways this is 83 uh, Slim J signing off.